Hello Internet people! In this video I'll show you how to translate your WordPress website by using a plugin called Convey This. The translations literally take a few minutes and they're done automatically, but if there's anything wrong with them, you can always go and manually change them. There's a free plan with this plugin and also you don't need credit cards or anything like that to sign up and set this up. And you can choose if you want a drop down like this or if you want something more integrated into your header or footer, then like this. How does that sound? Come and start. Tip sweat punch. Let's get started by installing and activating this plugin in your WordPress dashboard. So we're going to translate this page, which is built in Elementor. And then I have, as an example, this blog post, which is built with the Gutenberg blocks. And you will see that it works for both of them. So just go to your WordPress dashboard. Let's install the plugin. Just go to plugins, add new. And then in the search box, type in convey this all one word. And you should get this plugin. Just install and don't forget to activate it once it's done. Okay, let's make it quick because my horse is getting tired. Once it's done activating the plugin, you'll see here on the left, you have a new field or new menu, convey this. Just click on it. We need to first set this up. So here at the top, you can see that it's asking for an API key, which we can get by logging in to convey this. Just click on this link and open it in a new tab. So we need to create a account in convey this so that all of this will work. But don't worry, you don't need credit cards or anything like that. Just Fill in the details. And don't forget to agree to terms and conditions. And then click on register now. And you'll start getting calls like this. Hi. Okay. And now they're sending out an email. Just go to your email and uh, confirm your and now they send you an email to confirm your account. It will look like this and just click on this link, activate your account. It will take you back to convey this. And you can see here, you can choose what kind of plan, but you have the free account. It's forever free and it can translate 2,500 words. That's usually enough for websites that are small. If you have more than that, then you need to get a business or a pro account. It really depends how much you want to tr get translated, how many languages and how many monthly views on your website. So here you can see free one. You can get quite far with a small website. So then just scroll down, select the plan. And then again, click on select plan. And let's go to the dashboard where we're going to get the API key. And now this is the key we need to copy. Just click on this and then go back to your WordPress. And here, just paste it in. And now you will select your source language. So which language do you speak? So I'm going to use English and then the language you want to translate into. So let's say that will be Spanish for me. And then just click on save changes, bro. Look, I told you not to brother me. And as soon as you do that, Convey This will start translating your whole website. So this will take, depending on how big your website is, but this takes usually from one to about 10 minutes. Really depends on how much, how much there is to translate. Keep in mind that these translations are not hosted on your site. They're all on the Convey This servers. And this is why you can see the translations so quickly. The cool thing is that the translations are SEO friendly and Google is able to index all the pages with these translations, as opposed to using Google Translate plugin where the, all the translation happen on user's computer. And that's something Google cannot index. And then if you go back to your homepage and refresh the site, you'll see this little thing at the bottom of your page. You'll see that you have also Espanol, so let's click on that. Hasta la vista, baby. And now you see you have a new URL, it's slash ES for Spain or Spanish. And then you see that everything has been translated. 
even the things inside of the form, which is another plugin, you see menu is translated. The logo is not translated because it's an image, so you cannot translate those things. But here, if you scroll down, there's more stuff and you see it's pretty much translated everything here. And same thing if I come to the blog post and I refresh this. Then again, I'll click here to Spanish. You see it adds the ES in the URL and then also it has translated everything here. So that's how easy it is to translate everything. Hey, if you like this video so far, I would appreciate if you can hit the like button. That would help me a lot. Thanks. So let me show you how to adjust all the settings for this plugin. So let's set up a few settings here. So let's go back to WordPress. And here you have show more options in the convey this menu. Here you find all the settings for convey this and some of them don't work with the free plan, but most of them do. So let's take a look at those. So automatic language redirection, you don't have that option right now. And also you cannot hide convey this logo with the free plan, but that's not a big problem, I think. Translate media just means that it's going to translate the alt tags and the titles of images. So it's not the image itself, but it's the meta information with the image. But so you can play around with these settings, but what's important that you have this href lang tags, it's selected. Href lang tags is super important for SEO, but it's selected by default. So just keep it that way. Don't be scared. Everything will be all right. One thing that I would like to change here is that I don't actually like this little box here on the side. It's kind of in a way, it's always uh, following the user. What I would like to have is that it's in my menu. So you can now hide it from here. So uncheck the languages in select box. And then we're going to save this page. And then again, show more options. We can go from this link, open a new, and we'll be able to add this to our menu by just using this widget. You just open it up and then select both languages and add to menu. Now you see both of them are here and then click on save menu. And if you have caching plugin, don't forget to purge your cache. Now, if you go to your website and refresh the page, you can see you have the two flags here. So now your international visitors can stop doing this. Why are you running? Why are you running? But actually, this takes a lot of space. Also, uh, the English is the UK English, but I want it to be American English. So let's change that so that it's only the flag and that it's the correct flag. So back to the settings page. Here you can select if you want square or a circle or without the flag. In my case, I'll just want a circle and without the text here. So you'll see here is a preview and how it changes or maybe short text. This is really up to you. Here you can adjust the positioning, but you really can play with this. By default, it's quite okay. So I'm gonna skip this, but this is the interesting part where we're gonna change the flag. So let's say for English, I want to show the American flag. So United States and for Spanish, I want to show the Mexican flag just because my website is oriented towards North America. So I think this makes more sense and then save changes. Great. And now if you go back to your website and refresh the page, you'll see that you have now options to select the language. But one thing bothers me here is that we have the two flags like this. I would like them to be in one menu. So let's go back to the menus and this can be easily fixed by you moving the Spanish into the English like this and then save menu. And if you now go back to your site, refresh it, you'll see that your Spanish is now first option and then you have the American flag here. And now it's easy for the user to change it because they see the flag and they can swap it. And it also it's not in their way. Well, what if some of the translations look horrible? Well, you can manually change them and here's how. 
let's say you notice an, uh, an issue somewhere. Maybe there's a mistake in the translation. What's cool about this tool, you can just change the automatic translation. And you can do that by going back to the Conway, this uh, menu in uh, WordPress. And here you have this button, edit my translations. Just open the new link in new tab. And it will take you to Conway this website. And here you see that you have, this is my website that I'm updating right now. And you just click it on this, my translations. And you see I have Spanish translations here. So there's two pages that I have it on now. One is my homepage and one is my blog post. So now for the homepage, I want to change something. Then you can just click on this text editor. And, it, and here I need to go back to the site, to the original language. So in English in this case, and then grab this text, copy. And then here in the search box, just paste it. And now you can see that you can change it. So let's say I want to remove the free part here. So I'm going to remove this one. No, God, please, no, no, no. And now you see that this changes to custom. And then later on, you can also sort by different types of translations. And the cool thing is if for some reason you don't know this language or you don't know what to change, then you can always order a pro translator to translate everything on your site. All right. And now if you go back to your site, and back, change it back to Spanish. You see that the gratuita, don't know how to pronounce it. It's actually gone now. Oh my God! Wow! Oh my God! And this is the way you can actually improve your translations just to make sure that everything is correct. In the end, it's a machine translation. So that's why there will be some mistakes but this is a great way for you to get started. And then you can just change things directly in this dashboard if there's any issues with the translations. And if you go to dashboard here, you'll see how much you've used your words and also how many total page views you have per month. So in this case, I have 14 now because I've refreshed my page a few times, but this covers 10,000 per month and used words is it's not per month, it's one time thing. So if you go over this, it won't translate anymore. And that's when you need to change the plan. And another cool feature I want to show you is here in the settings. So even if you don't have a WordPress website, you're able to paste this code into your into your website and the translations will work for that as well. So even if you have just a basic HTML site, you'll be able to translate your site this way. And that's how you can actually just translate your whole website on WordPress. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. My name is Robert. And if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about how to improve your website, get more traffic and other website related stuff, make sure to hit that subscribe Ding button dong. so you don't miss out on anything. Here are two videos that I think you should watch next. Whoosh.